Before we get into the logistics of how often you should brush your dog's teeth and other preventative methods to help with keeping your dog's teeth and gums healthy, I think it is important to understand some background information about dental disease in dogs, how it affects the body, and how it is treated in dogs. Welcome back guys, my name is Doc Ford Sresho. I'm an animal doctor and every week we post videos, cases, topics, and tips on how to better take care of your fur babies. And today, we are going to talk about dog oral health basics. But before we proceed, you have to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button so that you get upgraded for whenever you post new videos on our YouTube channel. We are on Facebook, alam nyo na naman yan, Doc Ford's Animal Wellness Center. We are also on TikTok. We also discuss some topics there, yung mga 3-minute topics. And also on Instagram, Dockford's Animal Wellness Center. On my personal Instagram as well, Dockford's Resho. And I think that's it. So let's go ahead with our topic for today. How do dogs get dental disease? You know, basically, what happens with both dogs and humans is that yung food particles Yung food particles, yung saliva, at yung bacteria combine together to form a substance called plaque. Ito yung parang film na nabubuo in the surface of our teeth. no? And that's sub yung substance na yan, after 24 hours or over a period of time between 24 to 48 hours, it starts to combine with minerals, yung calcium na nandun sa teeth natin, and they turn into a substance called Tartar. Or in the medical parlance, we call them as the dental calculus. So once the plaque becomes tartar, it cannot be simply brushed, scrubbed, or rinsed away. It will require mechanical means in order to be removed. No, so yung plaque, since yung plaque and tartar both contain high amounts of bacteria, when it touches places like the gum line or yung mucosa, it will start to cause inflammation. Mamaga siya. And the current research actually indicates that it is not tartar, but the bacteria within the plaque that causes dental diseases in dogs. The mucosa in the mouth is very sensitive. Mas sensitive pa yan kesa sa balat natin. And when in contact with bacteria day in and day out, the gums will start to be basically eaten away. As the gums are eaten away, all the ligaments that hold the teeth in place start to be dissolved as well. In some cases, the bacteria will eat away pockets of infection under the gum line that will then grow to form abscesses. Nanana, magkakaroon ng discharge. Did you know that current research shows that dental disease is present in 90% of dogs over one year of age? So pag more than one year old na, kailangan niyang padenta. This constant inflammation and infection can cause issues locally like pain or sensitivity in the mouth and also inflammation and low underlying infection throughout the body. Sa buong katawan, nagsistart sa ngipin. So, ano nga ba yung signs that your dog may need teeth cleaning? Number one, bad breath, difficulty eating, increased drooling, panting, red irritated or bleeding gums, tartar, of course, needless to say, Discolored teeth, fractured teeth, loose teeth, believe it or not, swollen eyes, blood or pus from the nose, jaw, mouth sensitivity, and this list is by no means all-inclusive, nor are any of the signs inclusive in the dental disease. Other conditions such as kidney disease, for example, can cause bad breath in dogs. So, hindi ibig sabihin may bad breath eh, kailangan na dental, no? And nausea due to pancreatitis could also cause increased drooling, which is why it is so important to work with your veterinary team and have open discussions about this topic. So once your dog has a certain level of dental disease present, they will require a dental cleaning in order to treat the condition. A healthy mouth has gums that when pagtinignan mo, do not have signs of inflammation. And when, when you brush them, uh, hindi sila magbibleed. This is very similar to that of humans. If when your dog chews on a toy and you see blood on the toy, dudugo, kita mo, meron yung dental disease or dental problem. The question then becomes, 
not if, but how bad the condition is. In an ideal world, we do dental cleanings on dogs when they are on stage 1 or 2 of dental disease. And this will remain as a standard in aesthetic dental cleaning without advanced therapies and extractions will be needed. So if you wait until the later stages of dental disease before getting a full cleaning done, then most likely you will not be only looking at a longer procedure, but you may be looking at advanced therapies. Ano yung mga yan? Yung surgical extraction, uh, surgical flaps for deep cleaning of pockets, root canals, crowns, etc. No? And advanced therapies are very expensive. I've personally done some dental cleanings that were more than 20 to 30,000 pesos. And when you think of not only how much pain could have been avoided by the dog and the expense that could have been avoided with just proper preventative care. So the main presentations of severe dental disease in dogs in veterinary hospital beyond classical clinical science. Let's talk about them. In the veterinary clinic, we see many dogs who have severe dental disease, also called as we call them periodontal disease. No, Ito yung dogs will often go off their food and hindi sila kakain and owners will be giving them canned or some home-cooked meals because you know, ay na lang kainin yung dati nilang food eh. I've seen dogs with heart murmurs and kidney disease which was worsened by the fact that they had dental disease. So often, when we see these dogs and perform a dental cleaning, we see improvements across board two to four weeks after the dental procedure. Madami na akong naging instances ng after follow-up call with a pet owner with their dog is now more active than they have been in years. Dahil ang yan, just because of a dental cleaning. It is so amazing to see such drastic improvements across the board by one procedure alone. How do we clean a dog's teeth once disease is present? Unfortunately, treating dental disease in dogs isn't quite as easy as that in people. Hihiga ka lang, tapos say ah. It's not like that with dogs. Namely, the fact that treatment will need uh, to happen in dogs under general anesthesia. The main reason are because dogs don't stay still. Dental instruments are very sharp and beyond that, performing a surgical tooth extraction is just not going to be possible while a pet is awake. Wala talaga. Hindi pwede. Though I completely understand the worry that dog owners, syempre nag-aalala sila, isa-sedate yung aso nila eh. But the truth is, when anesthesia is done properly and correctly, it is fairly low risk and sometimes even less risky than sedation alone for older dogs. There are many ways to mitigate the risk of anesthesia. Speak to your veterinarian or come visit any of our Dog First Animal Wellness Centers. We have five branches in Quezon City. No pala, tatlo lang pala. <laughs> Three branches in Quezon City. We have one in Santa Rosa and another one in Cavite. So, and you know, whoever is your trusted veterinarian in your clinic, the, or kung, wala, kung walang gumagawa sa clinic, ask them for a referral. That's, you know, they can do it there. Refer, um, refer them, refer your dog to another clinic. How we perform teeth cleanings in dogs. So the actual protocol of how we go about cleaning dogs' teeth really isn't that different from yung mga dentista uh, or dental hygienist in, in other countries, no? Uh, on how they will clean human teeth. The only major difference is that your pup will be under general anesthesia. Teeth are cleaned and then evaluated. Lilinisin muna, i-evaluate using both visual examination and dental proof and dental x-rays. After the evaluation, your veterinarian would then assess if, you know, if further treatment is necessary. After the treatment takes place, or in some cases even before, the teeth would be polished. And the veterinary team may or may not use a sealant or rinse afterwards to remove, prevent, or prevent the buildup for the next couple of days. Depending upon the hospital, this protocol might be might vary, magiba iba per clinic, no? In continuation, next week we will discuss the 10 most common dental-related problems every dog owner should look for. Bye next week. Bye bye.